Hello, my name is Adam Ganong, and I'm the youth pastor here at Bethany. Uh, the pastors have been hard at work trying to make sure uh, we're prepared to open on June 7th. We currently are only going to be doing one service, and uh, you must have pre-registered for that service in order to attend. You can go to our website, www dot four and bethany dot com to register space is limited it is filling up as we find the need may arise for a second service then we will add that at a later date we currently will not have the balcony open it'll be just down here um, and so we'll only be using every other pew every other row will be used if you come in your family unit you live in the same house together you get to sit together with your family you can sit as a, cl a close tight-knit family if you're coming on your own, we'll make sure that there's proper social distancing, six feet between you and the next possible individual. Um, and we're gonna take proper precaution to make sure social distancing is maintained. So what is it you should expect when you arrive here on June 7th? Well, you can park in any of our parking lots around the building, but as far as entrances, we will have the very front doors of the building open on 81, and then we will also have the doors over on our fellowship hall opened off of North Bethany and so you can park at either place there. The doors will not open till 1030, 10 minutes before our service. We may uh, change that by five minutes or so, but 1030 uh, will be most likely the time where the doors will open, where you will be ushered in to find a spot to sit so we can maintain those social distancing. Then at the end of the services, what we will do, we're not just going to allow a, you know, kind of a mass exodus, but we're going to dismiss you row by row and we ask Please, we know that there might be a tendency uh, to linger, but please, we ask you to head out of the hallway, out to your cars. If you want to fellowship in a parking lot with proper social distancing, you can do that, but that is your call. But when in the building, we're gonna ask you to please usher out as quickly as possible and maintaining those social distances. Um, when you come in the building, we will have different hand sanitizer stations for you. Please make sure that you, uh, you know, sanitize your hands as you come in. As far as face masks go, we're asking you, if you want to have one, you can wear one. We're not requiring it, but uh, you can bring your own and wear it if that makes you feel more comfortable. Uh, but we will not be providing those. If you are age 65 or older, please, 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 from your pastors, we're asking you to please stay home. Um, yes, we are taking proper precautions, but we're asking you to stay home and be safe. If you have underlying health issues, please stay home. We wanna make sure that uh, everyone is safe and doing what we can do to make sure that we're not spreading this virus. Um, then also, what is uh, going on in regard to children on Sunday? There is no children's services on Sunday. You'll be just in here, um, the whole family unit in here. And if uh, you have to use the bathroom by any chance, then we will only be using, the only bathrooms that will be available will be right outside the back of the sanctuary here. The rest of the building will be off limits. So please remember that. You are not to go wandering anywhere else in the building. We want you to stay here uh, in this part of the building. So we're not uh, wandering off anywhere else. Um, also, there'll be no youth activities or Sunday school on those Sunday mornings as well. Hopefully, the day will come uh, in the next months ahead. We don't have a time frame when we can get back together um, to do Sunday school together. So what is expected of you? Well, each week we expect you to register for a service. It gives us an idea of how many services we need to have. And once we get to a certain number, then yes, we will open it up to two services, which will continue for the near future, for the foreseeable future. If by chance we have a visitor come, we will have overflow available uh, in the fellowship hall um, on the TV screens in there where people can spread out and watch as well. So what is expected of you? As you come in, sanitize your hands. If you have your face mask, put it on if you want. Make sure you maintain social distance of six feet at all times. No handshaking, no hugs, no passing of anything. As far as our offering goes, we're not going to be taking up an offering plate. We'll have an offering box in the lobby here in the foyer. And also the easiest way is always to give online. So uh, you can go to PushPay or even through our website and you'll see the options where you can give your tithe online. 
Lastly, we want to remind you that we do miss you. We care for you. We're excited to see you on the 7th, but we want to continue to take proper precautions to make sure that everyone is protected, but most importantly, that God is glorified in all that we do. And so we're looking forward to seeing you again soon. Um, Take proper precautions. Continue to be the church. Reach out to those who are in need, and uh, we will see you soon enough on June the 7th. God bless. Bye-bye.